welcome back to our series of lectures on the fundamentals of logistics. My name is Chris Lee, and over the course of these 14 lectures, I will be providing a background of the profession of logistics and supply chain management. In our previous lecture, we outlined a definition of logistics and provided an overview of the field. In this lecture, I will be discussing the importance of information technology as it applies to logistics. The term information technology, or IT, is commonly used as a synonym for computers and computer networks. Computers use IT to store, transmit, and manipulate information. An information technology system, or IT system, is generally an information system, a communication system, or more specifically speaking, a computer system including all the hardware, software, and equipment operated by a limited group of users. It is important to keep in mind that data and information are not synonymous terms. Data may not actually provide any valuable information. It is what we do in sorting data that might make it actual information and useful for us in the logistics field. A logistics information system can be defined as the people, equipment, and procedures to gather, sort, analyze, evaluate, and distribute needed timely and accurate information for decision makers. There are six types of information systems applicable to every business system. These include office automation systems, communication systems, transaction processing systems, or TPS, Management Information Systems, MIS, and Executive Information Systems, EIS, Decision Support Systems, DSS, and Enterprise Systems. Let's examine each of these in a little bit more detail. An office automation system provides effective ways to process personal and organizational data perform calculations, and create documents. Included in office automation systems are general software packages, such as word processing, spreadsheet, presentation, and database management applications that you may have learned about in an introductory computer class. An example of an office automation system would be spreadsheet applications used to calculate optimal order quantities facility location, and transportation cost minimization. Communication systems help people work together by interacting and sharing information in different forms. From a logistical perspective, the importance of a well-defined and well-executed communication system was highlighted by the events of September 11, 2001, when many transportation systems were either rerouted or completely shut down. This especially impacted companies that use or provide air freight services. Transaction processing systems, TPS, collect and store information about transactions and can control some of the aspects of processing transactions by using barcodes to identify a product and a point of sale system to process the actual transaction of the purchase of the product. The primary purpose of a TPS is the efficient processing of transactions. Organizations can choose to do batch or real-time processing. With batch processing, data is collected and stored for processing at a later time. An example of this would be restaurant transactions, where when a bill is paid with a credit card, the credit card is authorized but the final payment is not processed until the end of the day with all of the restaurant's other transactions. Real-time processing handles transactions as they come in. An example of this would be online purchases where the purchase transaction is finalized 
When the online purchaser submits their purchase for finalization from their online shopping cart. Managerial Information Systems MIS, and Executive Information Systems EIS, are logistic systems which convert transaction processing system data into information for monitoring performance and managing an organization. Timely information would appear to be incumbent on the effectiveness and efficiency of a company's particular logistics information system. A manager's ability to quickly receive information can be influenced by both technology hardware and software. Faster and more powerful technology has helped to reduce retrieval and dissemination times. Alternatively, Retrieval and dissemination can be slowed by hardware and software glitches, including incompatible hardware or software due to new technology, power outages, system crashes, and computer viruses. Accurate information also impacts the effectiveness and efficiency of a company's logistics information system. For this reason, an LIS must concentrate on the nature and quality of the relevant data. Keep in mind the garbage in, garbage out principle. Information that is erroneous, misrepresented, or unclear will likely result in poor decisions by logistics professionals. Decision Support Systems, DSS, Help people make decisions by providing information, models, or analysis tools. Specific uses of DSS and logistics include vehicle routing issues, inventory control decisions, developing automatic order picking systems, optimization models for buyer-seller negotiations, logistics simulations, and data mining. Simulation is a technique that models a real-world system, typically using mathematical equations to represent the relationships among the system's components. Simulation reliability is achieved by making the model as akin to the real world as possible. The primary advantage of simulation is that it enables the firm to test the feasibility of proposed changes at relatively little expense. In addition, it prevents firms from experiencing the public embarrassment of making a major change in their logistics system that might result in a deterioration of customer service levels or an increase in total operating expense. Enterprise systems create and maintain consistent data processing methods and an integrated database that operates across multiple business functions. The most prominent example of enterprise systems is Enterprise Resource Planning, or ERP systems, which let a company automate and integrate the majority of its business processes, share common data and practices across the enterprise, and produce and access information in a real-time environment. The attractiveness of ERP systems comes from their potential to lower costs, increase productivity, and improve customer satisfaction. ERP systems provide an opportunity for all functional areas within a firm to access and analyze a common database. One shortcoming of ERP systems involves the cost of installation. ERP software is relatively expensive and the software is only one part of ERP implementation costs. Another shortcoming of ERP is that implementation of the system can be a time-consuming process. In fact, many of the hidden costs associated with ERP implementation is the amount of time it takes to get a system up and running. The importance of the Internet on logistics cannot be overstated or exaggerated. At the beginning of the 21st century, roughly 5% of the world's population used the Internet. 
Today, that number is over 35% and continues to rise. The impact of the Internet on logistics includes online retailing and electronic procurement. There are logistical similarities between both online retailing and in-store retailing. For instance, many logistical functions and activities, such as transportation, warehousing, material handling, and order management, occur in both. Likewise, both may use the same type of equipment and materials, such as barcoding and warehouse management systems. There are, however, major differences that exist between online and in-store retailing with respect to the execution of logistics activities. For instance, the orders associated with online shopping tend to be more plentiful and in much smaller quantities than those associated with in-store retailing. Two other key logistical considerations that confront online retailing involve transportation and returned orders. The smaller order quantities associated with online retailing tend to favor transport companies with extensive delivery networks and expertise in parcel shipments. Finally, it's important to note that a one-size-fits-all logistics strategy is not likely to facilitate the effectiveness and efficiency of online shopping. Rather, a variety of logistics strategies might need to be considered and applied. And it's important to recognize the potential trade-offs associated with the different strategies that could possibly be used. Electronic procurement, also called e-procurement, utilizes the internet to make it easier, faster, and less expensive for organizations to purchase goods and services. The benefits that come from electronic procurement include transactional benefits, compliance benefits, management information benefits, and price benefits. Let's examine each of these in a little bit more detail. Transactional benefits measure the benefit of enhanced transactional efficiency. For example, a reduced invoice to payment time associated with the procurement. Compliance benefits focus on savings that can come from adherence to established procurement policies. Management information benefits involve those that result from management information, customer satisfaction, and supplier satisfaction levels after implementation of electronic procurement. Price benefits are those that are given as a result of adopting e-procurement policies. For instance, Electronic processing of invoices can save a great deal of money in terms of postage and stationery, and these savings can be passed on to the buyer. There are three main challenges in information technology for logistics. These include a failure to recognize the importance of information technology as a tool that can assist managers in addressing organizational problems. Security concerns of information technology are also a concern as more information is accessible through servers and databases. And data breaches can lead to trade secrets being out in the open or customer accounts being compromised. Finally, personnel in the organization may not be properly trained or have the incentive to implement information technology successfully. A macro level challenge for organizations is recognizing that information technology is a tool that can help managers address organizational problems. Implementing this tool can be difficult as not everyone in the organization embraces new technology. An example of this would be when email was rolled out and many managers did not check their email routinely. 
organizations were disseminating information, but managers were not receiving it because they were not receiving their emails, or at least not reading them. The same situation reared its ugly head again in the not-too-distant past when smartphone technology allowed emails to be received by cell phones. Once again, managers were not checking their email as often as organizations required to be able to keep up with the information being disseminated. Security concerns with access and accessibility cause major issues for companies. Data breaches are just one example of recent trends that make it difficult to ensure organizational and customer data safety. The data breach of Sony's email server and the Office of Personnel Management, OPM, experience with a data breach resulting in the release of 4 million social security numbers of present and past federal civil servants are just two examples of security concerns and the ability for data breaches to cause issues. Proper training in information technology and incentives to implement it successfully are key to utilizing information technology properly. Without properly training personnel how to utilize IT properly, there is no ability for the logistics manager to be able to utilize technology to assist them in decision making. In this lecture, we discussed how information technology impacts logistics and assists logistics managers in analyzing and managing their operations. In our next lecture, we will discuss how strategy and finance are used in the logistics field. My name is Chris Lee, and it's been my pleasure to have you join us as we explore the wonderful world of logistics. I hope you can join us for our next presentation and I invite you to reach out to me if you've got questions on this lecture or ideas for future lectures at chrisnlee07 at hotmail.com.